Hello everybody! Welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain how to use logarithms to find the period of an investment. This is lesson 2 of 8. Now I'm going to explain the method that you can use to convert an exponential equation into a logarithmic equation and to solve the log. Now what you do is, you will see you write log and then the base of the exponent will also be the base of the logarithm. The number on its own will stand with the logarithm and the exponent will become the subject of the formula. Let's do a couple of examples. Write the following in log form and solve n. And then I give you this exponential equation. 2 is equal to 3 to the n. So what you do is you, you write log and then the base of the exponent stays the base of the logarithm. This number on its own will go and stand with the log. And then the exponent will stand on its own on the other side of the equation. Then there's a special button on your calculator and it's this button over there. You can see that there's a log and then there's two little squares. Now that is the button that you're going to use. And then here on the screen you can see you, you press that button and then in the first little basis place you you put the three and then this square you put the two and equals and then your answer is 0 comma 6 3 let's do another example 3 comma 165 is equal to 4 to the power of n you write log again the base of the exponent stays the base of the logarithm then this number on its own, the 3,165, will stand with the log equals and the exponent will become the subject of the formula. Into your little button on your calculator, you substitute those values and your answer 0, 0,83. Last example, 2,387 is 3 to the power of n. So you write log. Again, the base of the exponent stays the base of the logarithm. This number will go and stand with your logarithm equals and the exponent becomes the subject of the formula. Into your calculator and your answer 0, 0,79. Let's do an example. A motorcycle costing 380,000 Rand depreciated at a rate of 11% per annum on the reducing balance method. Calculate the time it took for the motorcycle to depreciate to a value of 115,000 Rand. Let's start with the summary. So the principal amount, P, is the 380,000 Rand. A, that's the end amount, is 115,000 Rand. I, we take the rate, the 11%, and we turn it into 11 over 100 is equal to 0, 0,11. And N, that is what we're looking for. Now, which formula to use? The clue is here, reducing balance method. So that is the formula that we're going to use. And then we can substitute the values. In A's place, 115,000 equals in B's place, 380,000. Bracket 1 minus, and our I is 0, 0,11 to the power of N. Then, in the next step, you will divide away the 380,000 
it will cancel on this side and you divide it that side and I said 1 minus 0, 0,11 is 0, 0,89 to the power of n. On the left hand side when you do that with your calculator you end with 0, 0,302 etc. Remember there's no rounding off inside your sum. Now you've got an exponential equation that you can't solve so we will do logarithms. So here's the conversion. You write log the base of the exponent will also be the base of the logarithm. This whole big number will stand with the log equals and then the exponent will become the subject of the formula. Then into your special little button on your calculator. That's the button here at the base you will add or insert 0,89. On this other button you will see there's a little bracket there on your calculator 0, 0,302 etc that whole number you will slot it in equals and then you find n is 10,2565 etc the 10 is 10 years but then this now you have to calculate the months so you take whatever was after the comma 0, 0,2565 etc and you multiply that one by 12 and you end with 3,079 months and then 3,079 months if you round that one off your final answer will be 10 years and 3 months. Have you subscribed yet? And a reminder you can also visit my website onlinemats.co.za. Also feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue with the maths. Let's do another example. Chun Li deposits 7,000 Rand in a savings account paying 9% per annum compounded half yearly that's important how long will it take for her savings to double so can you see what happened here they didn't specify the amount that her savings accrued to they said her savings doubled therefore p the principal amount is 7000 and then 7000 doubled is 14,000. So your A, your final amount, 14,000. I, 9 over 100 is 0, 0,09 and N, that is what we are looking for. Now which formula to use and the clue is here in the words compounded half yearly. So therefore the compounded formula A is equal to P bracket 1 plus I to the N. And then also it's compounded half yearly. So now you have to adjust your formula by dividing your I by 2 and you will multiply your N by 2. Now we substitute. In, P, in A's place it's the 14,000 equals in P's place 7,000 bracket 1 plus the i is 0, 0,09 over 2 because it's half yearly to the power 2n because of half yearly. In the next step you will divide away the 7 both sides and also you will say inside the bracket 1 plus 0, 0,09 over 2 leaves you with 1,045 to the power 2n. And then on the left hand side, 14,000 divided by 7,000 is 2, equals 1,045 to the power 2n. Now you have an exponential equation that you can't solve, so we will convert that equation into a logarithmic equation by saying log, the base of the exponent stays the base of the logarithm, this number on its own will stand there with the log and this exponent the 2n will 
be the subject of the formula. Then into our uh, calculator, log, that's the button you're going to use, the base 1,045, and there, there's your 2, equals 15,74, etc. And remember, on the right-hand side, there was a 2n. So we'll divide away the 2, and we end with n is 7, comma, and then the 7, that's the years, and now the comma 87365, etc. That is the one you're going to turn into months by multiplying by 12, and we end with 10, comma, 4. And 10, comma, 4 rounded off will stay 10. Therefore, the answer is Chun Li's deposit will in 7 years and 10 months become 14,000 Rand. Next example. Determine how many years it would take for the value of office furniture to depreciate to 25% of its original value if the rate of depreciation based on the reducing balance method is 14% per annum. Now, our first problem is we don't know what the value of the office furniture was. Therefore, we will make PX. The next thing is the office furniture depreciated to 25% of its original value. Now, let's convert that into maths. Where 25% of x because x was the original value so we write 25 percent of x and remember in maths of is multiplication so 25 percent is the same as 25 over 100 times x then your a value is 0 0.25 x i is the 14 percent that's your rate 14 over 100 is 0 0.14 and n, that is what we are calculating. Now, which formula to use? The clue is there, reducing balance method. Then you know it's that formula. Now we substitute. In A's place, it's the 0 0.25x equals, in P's place, it's x times the bracket 1 minus i's value is 0, 0,14 to the power of n. In the next step, I'm going to multiply both, uh, divide both sides by x, and here the x's will cancel. So on the left-hand side, I will be left with 0, 0,25 equals, and on the right-hand side, 1 minus 0, 0,14 is 0, 0,86 to the power of n. And can you see on the left hand side the x is cancelled. Now that's a exponential equation and you want to solve n so we will turn that one into a logarithmic equation by writing log. The base of the exponent stays the base of the logarithm. The 0, 0,25 will go and stand with the log equals and then the exponent will be the subject of the formula that's the button you're going to use with your calculator so log here at the bottom the base 0 0.86 and there 0 0.25 in that bracket you find there on your calculator equals 9,1915 etc Therefore, the 9 will be 9 years, and then the months, we will zoom in on 0, 0,1915, etc., times that by 12. Remember, no rounding off inside your sum here equals 2,29. So the 2,29, that's the months, rounded off will be just 2. Therefore, the final answer is 9 years and two months. 
Now you know how to use logarithms to find the period of an investment. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you to the next lesson. There I will discuss future value annuities.